Hello, 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 it's Acute Copeland. I want to welcome you guys to the Boy Demand Transformation. I'm your host, Acute Copeland. And today, we got an amazing topic. The topic is how to be disciplined. You know, I feel like the Boy Demand Transformation, it takes discipline to become a man. You know, a boy, he lives in life, like a little boy, we live our life aimlessly. You're not worrying about what things we got to do, doing whatever, mommy's going to do it, daddy's going to do it. But when you want to become a man now, to transform from a boy to a man, you got to be disciplined. Because there's going to be certain things that you're going to have to do that you don't even like doing, that you don't even want to do. But what makes you do the things that you don't want to do, that you don't like to do? Discipline. Knowing that it's important to do the things that you don't want to do because you got to do those things so you can do the things that you want to do. But before we continue into this video, I want to take a shot. Actually, not a shot. I just want to pour myself a drink. I already got some liquid in here. And, um... And the next thing, I want a little pro tip for, for all the boys. Sometimes in life, you got to buy a little antique stuff for your house. Don't just be drinking out of the Hennessy bottle or the, the Casamigos bottle. Buy a nice little crystal jar, you feel me? And give yourself a little, little vibe like this, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. It's the details, it's the details. But, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to tell you guys how... You build discipline. And I'm going to tell you what it takes to be disciplined. I'm, I want to explain something for a lot of the viewers, specifically women right now. I feel like women do not respect men in certain areas and they try to bash men. Oh, men need to be providers. Men need to do this. There's a lot of men out here today that living with their families. You know, they had dreams when they was younger. But they had to forget about those dreams. Now, they have to work every single day to make sure that you're comfortable, to make sure the kids have a dream and that they could have a dream. They, they could go to sleep comfortable, not worrying about where to sleep, what they're going to eat, if they could go to school tomorrow. There's a lot of guys that sacrifice, a lot of men that sacrifice their life, their dreams, their goals to make sure their family is comfortable. And they're not just doing that for a year. They're doing it for years. There's some men that I know is working for 10 years. They had dreams, but they, they, they can't even go and think about a dream right now. Because if they do and they leave that 9 to 5 or they leave working for somebody else... You won't have that comfort that you have right now. You won't be able to go home and watch TV and, and to eat nice food and the kids running around making a mess in the place. Sometimes real men sacrifice their own happiness to make you happy. And they still could be hurting inside. You think he come home from work and he's normal. Your husband comes home from work. But I can tell you right now, he's, he's dying inside. He wasn't, be, he wasn't able to live the life he want to live because, you know, he gotta make sure you. He gotta make sure he provides because if he don't, and if he try to chase his dream, he's not a real man, right? He's not a real man. So I want a lot of women to show show love and respect and gratitude to some of these men who actually sacrificed their own happiness to make sure you was happy and make sure you was comfortable. But let me get back to the point. The main point is to actually transform from a boy to a man. You gotta be disciplined. There's no way around it. There's no way you can become a man. And not be disciplined. And I'm not telling you that I'm a man right now. Right now, I'm going to go through a transformation where I'm transforming from a boy to a man. So right now, I'm reevaluating myself. And I'm trying to put myself in positions where I can tell myself, yeah, I'm a man. One of the great things I heard from this guy on in Instagram, 19 Keys, he said, to really be a man, you have to be able to manage yourself entirely. Like, to you, in order for you to say, I'm a man... I must be able to manage myself in different aspects. And it takes discipline to manage yourself in certain aspects. For example, to manage your financial, to manage, to manage your mental, emotional, your spiritual, and to just manage those areas. Because sometimes a lot of us are, are men financially, but we are boys emotionally. So for you to say you're a 100% a man, you have to be able to manage financial and emotional. Because emotional. there's a lot of older men who have money. You know, and if you because they have money, they're high value men. And I'm gonna tell you something that does not make you high value. Money does not make you high value. What happens when people take that, that tangible possession away from you or that money or those assets away from you? Are you still confident? If you walk in a room with people who had a lot of money but you had no money, would you still be able to feel like your opinion and your voice matter? That's what high value is. Value is instilled inside of you. It's not what you have in the bank account, what you have in the parking lot, or what you have in your closet. That's not, that does not make you high value. 
Value is being able to have knowledge and inspire other people and to motivate people and drive people to go live the life that they want to live. That's high value. High value to be able to have value and as well to give value. I'm saying a lot of people thinking, oh, you're a beta because you don't have. No, don't feel because you don't have money that you don't make sense in this world, bro. There's a lot of things besides money that makes a man a man. And, and some of those things is knowing that you have to do the things that you don't want to do so you can do the things that you want to do. And that's going to the gym. That's waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning and, and planning your day. That's, that's sacrificing eating McDonald's and go home and actually make a home-cooked meal because you want to be more healthy. That's making sure your mom is stable emotionally, spiritually. Some of us think because we just give our mom money that that's all it needs. As a man, you need to go to your mom and speak to her. Like, mom, how you doing? How you doing mentally? How you doing emotionally? Let's talk. Let's let's reflect on the past. I know you've been through some traumas. You know, growing up, had to take care of me. All of this, mom. How you doing? That's what a real man is. Yo, sis, how you doing? Yo, how is your relationship with your with your boyfriend? Or how's relationships? How's that? Yes, you know, your social life. What's that's a real man being able to connect with everyone else and checking on everyone. That's real. That's high value. All these other men who are here walking around think, oh, because he drives a Ferrari. That's not value, my brother, because I can go away tomorrow. Value is something that when you have it, you won't lose it. You know what I'm saying? So if you, if you determine money and, and in all of these tangible positions is value that makes you high value, that can go away like this. If something happened in, in the whole country, you know, power outage went away, Right? That means all your money and all your positions on the internet, because everything's on the internet, that's frozen. You don't got no more money. You got no more money. If, if, if that's what happened next day, you have no more money. So I need you guys to understand, a lot of us put value in so much things that can leave tomorrow. And that's the wrong thing. You need to put value in the things that matter, which is happiness, you know, that, that gratitude. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk too much. And I'm going to give you three tips on how to be more... Discipline. One thing is, discipline is a habit. You know what I'm saying? Be consistent in one area in your life, whether it's to wake up 4 o'clock every morning to work out. And I guarantee you, by you just waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning and working out every single day for at least two months, you would see how you build discipline and you build a habit of being disciplined. It triggers something in your mind. If you understand how the mind works, a lot of people can lose their memory, but they will never lose a habit. See, if you create a habit of deep being disciplined, that's when, it really, that's when it really lasts. That's what you really need to do. People do not sell products to us. They sell habits. And if you understand that, now you really know what I'm talking about. So what I want to sell to you guys is the habit of discipline. And if you want to build discipline, you have to be consistent. Discipline comes or habit comes from doing something consistently over and over the exact same thing. So if you do the exact same thing for a month at least every single day, that becomes a habit and that habit will be discipline. You know what I'm saying? The next tip is put yourself around people that already have or instill discipline within themselves. If you're around people who are very sometimey or people that sometimes want to do this or people are very inconsistent, you will find yourself being inconsistent. Put yourself around people who accept nothing less but the best. You know, I'm not taking anything that's not for me. And I'm not taking anything more. And I'm not taking anything less. What's for me is for me. And that goes in all aspects. Relationship, life, financial, whatever the case is, I'm accepting what's for me. You know what I'm saying? Put yourself around people that see your value. And I said this thing in one of my posts. You put a water bottle in a supermarket. It might be cheap. But you take that water bottle and put it in the airport, the price ri- raise up. It's because sometimes you're in the environment that does not see your value. So sometimes you need to move yourself around from certain people because they can't see your value. Because they don't even see their own value. But when you put yourself around people that have the eye for value and they can see value, now you will see how your life transcends and goes to different, you know, different areas. That's the only way you can transform. So sometimes it's not you. You're just in the wrong environment, my friend. Now the last tip, last but not least... If you want to become disciplined, if you want to have that discipline in, in with you, you have to have the greatest why. Why do I want to be disciplined? A lot of us don't know why, and that's why you're not disciplined. My why and why I want to be disciplined is very strong, is, is, a, is a heavy why. And I wake up, the first thing I think about is my why every morning, and my why is always on my head. So when your why is, is very heavy, when I say heavy as it is very important to you, 
you won't have no choice but to be disciplined. For example, if you live in and you can't pay your rent and you know you could get kicked out of the house, you better find by you by all means you better find a rent because you want to live, you want to have somewhere to stay, right? So that why is very important, that why is very heavy. So the only reason why a lot of you guys are not disciplined in specific areas is because your why is not big enough. Your why is not important to you. My why is very important to me, so I have no choice but to be disciplined. And uh, this is Cute Cobra, and this is the Boy and Man Transformation, and this is the first segment. We have a lot more to go, and if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, and um, follow me on Instagram at Cute Cobra, TikTok at Cute Cobra, Twitter at Cute Cobra. Um, I didn't even sip the drink, how I got into him. And um, last but not least, I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, you got you to gotta be able to escape the gravitational pull of your past. When I say that again, you have to be able to be strong enough to escape the gravitational pull of your past. A lot of us are being pulled back from our past life. Like, we was poor. And you tend to keep ugh, going back. No, you got to go forward. You got to break that barrier. You got to break it. But this is the Boy Demand Transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And stay loving. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed, don't stress, live life, and never worth the price. It's a cute cop, I'm out.